Hello my Banda crew and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be another Crash Team Rumble video. We're going to be discussing the new characters in the game and how you may have missed them. If this is your first time coming to the channel, I release Crash Bandicoot content every weekend. I discuss lore, theories, news, I do tier lists, interviews, icebergs, pretty much anything and everything Crash Bandicoot related I cover here. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, maybe consider subscribing. In a past video, I shared this with you. It says, Fun fact, some say a Wumpa Whale has been spotted near Tiki Towers Island. And thanks to the user Lolo Colo on Reddit, he sent me this image. And you can see there's the Wumpa Whale, and he's on the far right side of Tiki Towers Island map. If you look into the ocean, he may appear to you. So I believe that the fun facts have some truth to them. They may have some jokey nature or some snarky stuff, but I do believe that the fun facts are canon. So I'm going to jump in and explain the characters that I think are actually in the game. They're just kind of hidden. They're not fully playable characters, but you will see what I'm talking about in a moment. One more fun fact. Fun fact, Wumpa Fruit are purple on the inside. The 50th least weird thing around here. And if you ever played the original Crash Bandicoot or the Insane Trilogy version of it, you do see that one of the idle animations proves that the innards of a Wumpa Fruit are purple. Wumpa Whale, purple innards of a Wumpa, the Wumpa Fruit silhouette character that I drew in Microsoft Paint. I think it was kind of obvious, but if you guys didn't notice, the characters I was talking about are the anthropomorph anthropomorphic Wumpa Fruit characters. So if you haven't seen this image here, this is a leaked image from way back when this game was called Crash... Wumpa League. They never said Crash Wumpa League or Crash Bandicoot Wumpa League. It was always just called Wumpa League. It's Project Lava and Wumpa League. So this one here has the anthropomorphic Wumpas. Then I showed some of the fun facts relating to Wumpas and how they proved true. So I'm going to show you two more facts that lead me to believe that we've already seen at least eight new Wumpa characters in this game. So like I said, the original fun facts that I was showing was just to back up my argument to show that the fun facts all have some, you know, fact that they're based on. So this one says, fun fact, referring to Wumpa fruit as apples or mangoes hurt their feelings. So fruits don't have feelings. So the only way that you can hurt a fruit's feelings is if it was giving, given sentience and became an anthropomorphic Wumpa. And here's the last one I'm going to show. The Wumpa used in Crash Team Rumble are all boneless for contestants' safety. So this one could just be like a really out there joke that makes no sense because no Wumpa fruit have bones in them, period. Or it could be nodding to the fact that there are anthropomorphic Wumpa that have been evolved with the Evolve Array to become sentient and have bones inside them. So now I'm going to show off all the Wumpa that we have seen to date. So these are the dancing Wumpa. You have a female and a male. Then you have Cute Wumpa. Happy Wumpa. This one may be harder to see, and you might have missed it. This is from the Quantum Rave music. But there is a little anthropomorphic Wumpa right there, raving along with DJ Coco, 
who I have dubbed the Rave Wumpa. We have Salty Wumpa. Scared Wumpa. And last but not least, Violin Wumpa. So I personally believe that those eight Wumpa characters are actual characters. They are only emblems and show up in the music album pictures. So they're not actually physically in the game. But I do believe that they're either going to be more fleshed out in the future. Like we're going to get a mode where the Wumpa Fruit actually run away from us. And it makes the game harder. Or they'll just leave it as is and let us use our imagination to fill in the gaps. So we have the fun facts saying that the Wumpa used in the game do not have bones. Which, why would you need to specify that unless there were Wumpas with bones? A.K.A. the Anthro Wumpas. And then the other one says that you could hurt their feelings if you call them apples or mangoes. Again, you can't hurt the feelings of a fruit unless... It has been given sentience, the Anthrowumpas. So that's the entirety of the theory. And I would really appreciate it if you guys gave me some feedback and let me know if you think I'm way off on this and the fun facts don't mean anything. Or if you really do believe what I believe and that we have canonical anthropomorphic Wumpa characters in the Crash Bandicoot series. I have a couple more Crash Team Rumble videos planned. I have three other projects that I'm working on that are going to be larger videos that will take a little while longer to come out. But I have Crash content being planned, being worked on, and I will be releasing it every weekend for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.